Okay, welcome to Rape My Gadget, and we'll be looking at how you hang a television onto a wall, and in this case, how you hang it onto a hollow wall that's just a drywall. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, um, you need to buy a suitable bracket. So this is the bracket that I've bought. So this is an ultra slim, fairly cheap. Links are in the bottom. This will um, allow you to have your TV hung flat to the wall. Um, so first step when you get this out is you'll have two of these brackets with the bolts that are provided by. As you can see, these go onto the telly first and then what eventually happens is you then hold on so as you can imagine this is the flat bit which goes against the wall so it bolts to the wall like that and then all it does is sit on this bracket here and then the TV just hangs off that which is great because you can move the TV left and right so if you're not quite central you can move it left and right obviously not too far um, <coughs> do that but problem is that's all well and good the fixings that they give you are these oh sorry these hard fixings which are obviously expected to go into a solid wall so how do you do it for a plaster wall so that's where you need to buy these spring toggles now you need to be careful this is a Samson uh, 30 oh, sorry 40 inch TV um, if you weigh it, it's roughly about 10, 11 kilos. And these spring toggles are weight rated. So these ones that I've got, again, the links are at the bottom for these. The way that they work is that, uh, let me, let me number one and I'll show you. So what you've got here is you've got a toggle bracket. Um, they're actually called spring toggles. Uh, you've got a thread, you've got a large size washer to take the load, and then you've got a nylon coated nut. And the reason it's nylon coated is you want it to hold. Okay? So all the links for these parts are below. But if I just show you how this works, so using this simple cardboard, so what you want to do is you drill a hole that's big enough for this to go in and what happens is oops all right let me try that again <coughs> so you bigger drill a hole in your wall and imagine that this is your outside and the inside so you push that bit in like that and eventually when you push it through it springs out and all you do then is you pull it towards you so this is now the outside of the wall pull it towards you and then you just twist that in and then eventually the two bits clamp together and that is spreading the load on the back so you want to make sure you drill a hole in this case these are M5 so it's a, they recommend a 14mm drill piece um, and that works perfectly for this flat frame here as you can see this is how it's made up so those bits will probably be the wall and then those bits are on the outside there okay so let's do that and show you So here we go, you've drilled the holes, and what you want to do before you start lining up the bracket is just make sure that those little pieces go in. Don't push them all the way in, because once that pops out, you're never going to get it back out again. And that's the whole point. So first of all, drill your holes, line it up where you need it on the bracket, and then you're ready to go. <coughs> so here you go then. So you've drilled your holes there. You've put all of your spring toggles in. And then what you're doing is you're lining up and just put one in the wall first of all. So let's put this one in. I can do it one-handed. So then you pull the spring together like that. And then you put it through the wall and you push it until it clicks. There you go. Now that's kind of stuck to the wall. And what you're trying to do is you're pulling that screw head towards you and you're tightening up clockwise. So there you go. So you've pushed them all into the wall and as you can see 
they're all fixed in. Now they're not hard fixed in. Now what you want to do is the one in the middle in this case, because there's a little bit of float there, so you want a little bit of float for that, sp that spirit level to be level. So what you're now doing is you're pulling that screw head towards you because if you think about it, as you're pulling it towards you, you're, the spring that's behind it is pushing against the wall. So you're pulling it towards you and you're doing it clockwise, you're doing it up. So now you're putting the thread or you're putting the screw into the wall, okay? And eventually that will go tight. And then once that's gone tight, all you're doing then is you're putting that nut with a nylon thread hard onto here. Okay, so once you've clamped all the um, bolts in and you've tightened them up by pulling the nut in tight, that's it really. So on the bracket itself, the one that the links are at the bottom, it's got a spirit level on it. So what you can do is you can actually set that because the spring toggles behind, you can actually move the bracket, you know, and, and uh, you can set the angle. And then once you've done that, <coughs> As you showed, you just hang the TV on the back of it. So there you go. Full-size TV that's been uh, hung onto a hollow wall. Okay, hope that's helped. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and as I said, all the links are at the bottom. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.